Um, hello everyone, it's Bella from TalkToBella.com, but I know you already know that. Uh, I have uh, this uh, memories that have been coming to me for a while. Some of them are my childhood memories. The not so good, the good, the bad, and everything. <laughs> but um, I will be talking about my public house experience, you know. If you are in Nigeria and, and you have never lived in a public compound or a public house, then you haven't really lived the Nigerian life. I'm sorry to say that's my own definition <laughs> anyway. But today I'll be talking about my funny experiences, funny memories, and uh, and all the whole things I did growing up in a, in a, in a, in a public house. There's this, um, okay, let me start with, I was a peeping Tom, okay? You know, when you're growing up, you have questions like, what is this auntie always coming to do in this uncle's house? <laughs> anyway, I was a peeping Tom. And, you know, when this auntie comes to see her boyfriend, you know, I would always like, I was small, you know, I, I had a small stature. I would always run to the back of the house, you know, go and start peeping on the window and you know I'll see them doing it and I'm like wow so this is how it's done you know my uh, my, my mom she tried her possible best to give us the best you know you know um, things were not easy for us growing up you know so when our neighbors bought new things I always wanted to you know go check it out like okay when VC the players came out I was always a Batman you know I was always in this person's window you know seeing that movie you know like ah jet lee jackie chan and then i'll go practice it with my friends but it was all fun back then you know but uh we had our bad days we had our good days you know then the mad couples the ones that were always fighting you know i had a neighbor then you know that died of hiv you know God rest his soul. I, 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 uh, we didn't know it was HIV then because you know they were taking him to different churches. But the story then was he contracted it from um, um, prostitutes at um, Alabarago uh, area where he, he, he had a shop then and then gave it to his wife without knowing and then gave it to the newborn baby. Okay, I think it was their first child, the one they had in the East before. You know they came to lagos that was the only child that survived he died then the wife died and i don't know if the other baby died but you know anyway um you know we stayed in one public compound like majority of like when i was growing up from when i was in um, primary school to when i was in secondary school before we moved and um moved to a, a soft container a flat yeah you know we're still in a room and palo we're still in a room then my mom upgraded us to room and panel. <laughs> my first crush was in that compound. The first love, the first and only love letter I wrote was in that compound, okay? My landlord son, if I mean, like one moment we were friends and the next moment I was like, wow, this guy is cute. And then I had this crush come over, you know, came to the house. So my mom wasn't around. He came and, you know, I was a kid. What would we have done? But the neighbors they, they they came to the window and they saw me lying on his head and they beat it out they beat the hell out of us the beaters they beat the hell out of us they beat us so much that you know and, and and one of them you know threatened to tell my mom you know she was owing me money i i saved money she was owing me money and um she threatened to tell my mom anytime i asked her for that money you know and she did tell my mom anyway i saw her recently and that's why this whole memory thing came crashing down i saw her recently and you know i was like wow Auntie Philo, this is you 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 <laughs> i know i didn't want to tell her you know you ruined my life a baby she told my mom and my mom bit the hell out of me you know all those kind of beatings they wake you at midnight like they wake you at midnight like two canes like pia, 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 pia. <laughs> it, it wasn't funny like when i think about it like that ah man that bit will be small uh, i was really stubborn i was very stubborn like seriously stubborn i fought a lot yeah when i look at my life right now and see how gentle i am i have become i'm like did somebody pour cold water into my soul like i was stubborn 
I bit a lot of kids but I was really small you know maybe because I didn't want to be bullied but I looked for trouble first I beat everybody I, I, I would go to the neighbors uh, I would go to the kitchen at night and you know steal your food you know in the kitchen like my mom cooks like delicious meal but I felt the neighbors were better you know you know my, my mom like you know she didn't want us associating with it she didn't even want me speaking vernacular like she's a teacher she's like uh-uh don't mix the other kids but, but for me now me they even teach the other children the vernacular self <laughs> it, it was fun then you know it was fun like serious fun but i would go to the neighbors you know when they cook at night what did i even use to pick their locks <laughs> Oh my anyway anyway I I had a lot of experiences like you know it shaped me into who I am today you know you know um, it, it, it made me you know I think it forged me in life to an extent but what can I say but those were uh, like those were my experiences I'm not gonna tell you all of them but you know the ones that come to mind, you know, the fighting, the general fight, the family fight, you know, this family will fight with that family. You come outside, boobs are flying everywhere, this one, that, or that. It, it was fun, but I don't think I want my kids to grow up in that sort of environment. No, no, I, I don't think I want my kids to grow up in that sort of environment. But that's my that's my experience, and you know. Uh, uh, I'm glad I had it. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm so so glad I had it. It's made me who I am today and who I will be tomorrow. Okay, it's an experience I don't want to show. I don't. I don't want to give up for the world. I really enjoyed that experience. And I'll be stopping here for today. Share your funny experiences with me if you've stayed in public house. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, please subscribe to my blog, like my page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You know, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. Have a nice day.